Hello guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Now today, it's my reaction from the Charlton game. Two all draw at home to Charlton. Now, before the game, I was very confident. Actually, before I actually start talking about this video, I didn't obviously go to the match because I'm at university. But I listened on the radio, I've watched highlights from the game, I've been told by fans, I've read online. You know, I do know what's happened and I've seen what's happened as well. So, yeah, as I was saying, I was quite confident, you know, at home with very good under Nathan Jones. And we have been since he's been the manager of Luton Town. So, my score prediction for this game was a 2-0 win. Now, first half was just like any other half we've done this season. Having chances, not taking them, not creating enough clear-cut opportunities. Petty, yet again, being off best player in the first half. We had a goal disallowed for offside. And then the penalty decision for Collins. Now, I've watched this back plenty of times. It is a penalty in my eyes. The contact started outside the box, but I reckon the initial foul was inside the box. Collins has admitted that he should have never let the player go in front of him, and it is a foul. He did say he fouled the player. Now, if it happened to us, and it was like obviously going for us we would obviously want a penalty so it's one of those decisions where it's a soft one and it's just Connor's mistake you know he can't be allowing a player to get in front of him and to be fair the play wasn't really going anywhere he had about three players in front of him don't reckon anything would have happened even if Collins left him so poor decision from Collins and then the penalty I think Shea didn't really help the situation now I'm not criticizing Shea but as a goalkeeper if you already make like if you already dive before the players even had the kick like even kicked the ball you made it really easy for him like before he, the like Charlton player kicked the ball Shea was already on the floor and I've I've watched it back I thought that was poor goalkeeping but it's it doesn't matter anyway, it's a soft penalty and we are 1-0 down at half time. Then second half, nothing. same again, having chances, not cutting edge, not having that clinical edge about us. And then Nathan Jones makes the substitution, Harry Cornett comes on, on the round about hour mark and changes the game completely. Before he actually did score his goal, he had a chance, he blazed it over the bar. You know, from he needs to start being more clinical in front of goal. And then he actually did get his goal. A nice finish, to be fair to him. And I'm glad that he has got his goal. Because Cornix, for me, it seems like a player who, who does need a bit of confidence. And he is a confidence player. You know, if he's on a high, he's going to do really well. He's dangerous and he's very important to our squad. You know, he will change games like he did today. So, yeah, Colin's got that goal. So happy for him. And then... After that, Pelly had a shot, hit the bar post, rebounded, and he rebounded back to Collins. Collins gets his first goal of the season. I'm delighted for Collins to get his first goal of the season because he needs to start scoring. He's a striker, and he's gone on a long, unbeaten, not unbeaten, long goal drought where he hasn't scored. Right place at the right time for Collins, and he gets his goal, for the first goal of the season. Pelly, I really do want him to score, you know. That's all he's missing about his game, you know. He, he's such a good player. And honestly, guys, in January, the, our main objective is to keep Pelly, and if not, offer him another contract <laughs> and try and make his transfer value as high as possible because he will go eventually. And if he continues to perform like he's been doing, he will go in January. It, and he will be going to a championship club possibly I don't think he'll go Premier League but he'll definitely go championship and then Cornick at the end like he got clean for on goal um, the players tried to bring him down he has fouled Cornick Cornick could have gone down but he managed to stay stay up kept his balance and then he was clean for on goal and then he blazed the opportunity you know that's three golden opportunities Cornick could have had a hat trick and he needs to like, honestly Cornick would not be playing for us if he was clinical in front of goal. He will be playing Championship, possibly Premier League, if he was able to score goals. And that's what he's missing in his game. If he's able to score goals, he's going to be going up. And I really hope, as a player, like I always want players to do well. And if he gets his goals right, he will go up and he will have a really good career but he needs to start scoring it's all ifs and buts to be honest because if he goes down and he got that Charlton player got a sending off because he was last man 
well, Charlton got the second goal. Like, it's all ifs and buts, like I said. And then from there, referee gives five additional minutes. I was obviously listening to that game on the radio, and I heard, like, Simon Pitts, the, like, the commentator, was saying that he didn't understand why there was five minutes getting added. A lot of people were surprised. Three minutes were what he thought was going to happen, but five minutes got added on. And yeah, Charlton, they scored in the 95th minute. It was coming. They had two chances before they even scored and they hit the bar twice. And then their third, then their third opportunity, nice volley. You know, the play should have been closed down a lot quicker, but it wasn't to be. So there you have it. It was a two-all draw. Look, at the end of the day, I felt we should have won. Because when you're 2-1 up, in the 90th minute, you expect to go on to win the game. You you expect to keep your lead, but we didn't. And yeah, and Charlton just got the late equaliser. And to be fair, on paper, we were evenly matched. Both teams had a bit more chances. I, I felt like we had more clear cut, but Charlton hit the bar twice at the end. So it was an even match and it was a fair result, but we should have won the game when you're 2-1 up in the 90th minute. But anyway guys, that's the end of the video. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. This is my review of the game. Obviously, when I'm not at games, I will be doing re review videos. So yeah, leave a like. Um, comment down below your thoughts on the Charlton game. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow me on all my social media if you haven't done already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.